Insta360 Go. What did you learn from ignoring sex? <laughs> you learning how to laugh or what? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Big Striller back once again. About to go take a little bike ride. Ain't been on my bike in a minute, so I've been slacking on my exercise. Thinking about trying out my new, new little gadget here. Insta360 Go camera. Insta360 Go camera, so I'm, I'm contemplating it, using it today, so. This is a new camera, it's a wide angle joint, and I got it for my FPV endeavors. Just put it on my micro quads, but it also could serve as an action camera. It's got, it comes with a medallion that you can wear on your neck. I don't know if y'all can see that, you wear it on your neck, and then the camera itself is real small. And it, magnetizes so you just put put the medallion under your clothes it's got a whole bunch of other cool adapt um cool um attachments and stuff so we'll see it there i guess you can see it yeah so it just sticks through and um yeah you just record it like that you put it sticking on you and um it's got a whole bunch of cool features it's stabilized uh footage and I will be reviewing it over time, but I just want to give y'all a first glimpse of it and everything from here on out will probably be shot on there. Yeah, this will be my first shots with it out here in the wild. So let's see, and hopefully I can keep it. It doesn't fall off. 2000 mile review on my bike coming soon. I know I promised it a long time ago. I got probably about 2050 miles on that bad boy now. So yeah right today i'm just gonna be out, sh out shooting while riding all right so this thing keeps on turning on by itself like the white light comes on and the battery on this thing is but so long and i'm not bringing the uh charging case with me so i'm trying to keep it off until i'm ready to use it but it keeps on turning on by itself so i don't know it's quirky i gotta figure out the nuances of it but yeah um hopefully i'll get that figured out so Anyway, we're about to hop on this bike. This is my first impression. From the there we go. So I got a pre, pre-ride checklist I do, uh, mental checklist I do before I get on this bike. And it's been so long <laughs> since I've been on it that it took me like 10 minutes to get ready to roll. And I've been kind of loathing riding, well not loathing, just kind of been lazy or whatever. But once I actually got into the motions to get out of here, I started getting excited because excited it's been a while. And anyway, um, trying this camera out for his first time in practical use out in the real world. Uh, it's holding to my shirt thus far. Been over some bumps and no issue. Um, so, yeah, uh, what else I was going to say? Uh, oh, yeah, the, where you push it. While it's mounted on your chest to start it, that's not working for me. I don't know where exactly to touch it to make it come on and off where you don't have to like take it off, push the button and get it to start. But I'll, I'll work that out over time. So hope the audio is okay. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think of the audio and also of the footage that you see. Uh, she was at 1080. I think it's 60, 60 frames a second, I'm not sure. Uh, I will double check that, but it's supposed to be stabilized. And opposed to my Femi Palm and Osmo Pocket, instead of being gimbal stabilized, it's software stabilized. The camera shoots in a, like a 180 degree field of view and it crops in on a small section of the footage. So that's how it gets the stability. It has a lot of information. It just cuts out a lot of it. So that's that. And uh, how's it going? I will keep y'all posted. And hopefully everything looks cool. Let me see if I can get on the street without getting my block knocked off. Yeah. Oh yeah, as you pro I hope y'all can see. I got two 2,043 miles on my bike. So yeah. 
quite a few miles on the old electric XP. It is about 7, 7.30 now, so I got about an hour before it gets dark. So I'm gonna try to get this, make this ride quick as I can so that uh, I'm not out here. I mean, so it stopped recording while I was yapping. So I guess I gotta be, be succinct with my, uh, with my mouthing, but uh, yeah, on my way. I do like how small this thing is and uh, portable. How y'all doing? So yeah, that's that y'all. I'll continue this ride and check back in when I got something worth, worth filming. Listen to my Les Brown. I forgot my speaker. I put it, I left it on the trunk of my car before I left. That shows you how out of, out of uh, practice I am riding. But I'm about to get back on it. Yeah, I don't know about this button click thing. This is Les Brown, exactly what I need to hear. I don't know if y'all can hear it without just coming to the speaker on my phone. But uh, yeah, I've been missing out on my personal development and my mood's been reflecting that. So this is invigorating. How y'all doing? Good stuff. All right, so how's it going? So uh, it is eight o'clock now. So it's uh, sun setting. I'm in the neighborhood with a lot of trees. I want to see how the low light performance of this camera is right now. It's not super low, but it's shadows and uh, a lot of shade from the trees. So, all right, this thing stopped recording. I, I, I wonder if I switched the mode. I, got, I thought I had a five minute mode but it seems to be stopping short. Or maybe I just stopped it, I don't know. Uh, still figuring it out, y'all. We're rolling. Let's go. Rolling, rolling, rolling. All right, I'm about at the halfway point to turn around. Headed back home, my bike says 6.3 miles. Yeah, it's about right. It's about right. It's a 13 mile trip. Hold on. Go to the intersection. They're going way too fast. In the neighborhood. <laughs> Gotta watch out for them. So, yeah, this mic, I mean, this, this, uh, this camera, I barely know that I have it on me. I like how small and inconspicuous it is. Uh, it doesn't have a gear. It keeps on cutting off. I don't know what setting I got it on right now. So I'm gonna double check that when I get back, make sure I have it on a longer setting. So when I start FPVing on my quadcopter, it, uh, it's not gonna cut out 30 seconds or a minute after I start shooting, which would be tragic. But yeah, that's it. How y'all doing? All right. So, yeah. Just seeing how long the battery lasts too, so that's why I keep cutting it on and one in my mouth. All right. So I've been riding mostly in pedal assist too, and the last few times I was uh, riding my bike, I put it in pedal assist three and try to get through it faster I can. But I'm enjoying. PSA 2 right now. It's going. And uh, yes, it's uh, fast enough for me right now. And uh, getting, I feel like I'm getting a little workout in. I'm breathing. Get some breath in. I'm sure this fresh, fresh air is doing some good. Just 
So the sun's going down a little bit more, just trying to peep what it looks like. It's 807. Yeah, I went a lot. I went far in seven minutes. Uh, yeah, just trying to see how it handles light. Okay, uh, this is where I hit the button up one, uh, two or three times, uh, which engaged the go settings on the camera. There's you have three all together, and this was the slow motion. And I believe that you can do this in the software as well, so you don't actually have to put it on the camera as a camera function. So this will be something I'll, I'll take off. But the next clip, which is coming up real soon. Okay, this is where I had the hyperlapse on. So this is the one time I used that. Um, I think it was probably the triple tap on the camera. And so you can see how that looks on here. Not too bad, you know. All right, just finished my ride. This thing stayed on me the whole time, no issue. Uh, but it did stop working because I think the um, I don't think the battery ran out, but I think it ran out of memory. So I will figure all that out when I go back in. So I had another issue though I want to talk to you all about. Okay, so I've been hearing a clicking noise in my brake, my back brake for for weeks now, probably a month or two, or maybe even longer than that. So. I was riding, I was about through with my ride, and then I heard some clacking noise, like someone right. So I pulled over, my back brake finally just kind of fell off right here. Let me see if I got this in there. Let's see. Yeah. So it fell off. This is totally my fault due to neglect. I heard the noise back here. I knew that the brake was out of alignment, but I just kept riding. Like, ah, whatever, it still works. So I hope this isn't blown out. But, um, Yes, yeah, so that was that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is take it to the shop and just have my whole bike overlooked for a 2,000 mile uh, shop review and uh, bike review and everything. So hopefully the bike shop is open. They'll let me videotape like the last time. Hey, man. What did you learn from ignoring sense? <laughs> <laughs> you, I learned you, not to ignore it. You learning how to laugh or what? Seems like y'all really like that. Um, and just get my whole system overlooked and you know tightened up or whatever and also I want some modifications done to my bike and I could do it myself but I'd rather have professionals do it if it doesn't cost too much so I'm gonna see if they can price I'm gonna price that out see if I can do that as well um, that's about it so don't neglect if you hear something wrong with your bike your electric XP don't neglect it um, get it fixed so you don't like me so I only had my first my front brake for the last two miles of my trip and it gave me plenty of stopping power but still it's not an ideal I don't want that one to fall off too so these bracket screws came out and I was just not really paying attention and that's my fault I just ride this thing man you know and don't really do much maintenance on it or anything that's how how solid it's been on back tires and the treads a little low but anyway, I'm going to get into all that in the 2,000 mile review. I uh, just want to get us update. My fault, not electric, not the bike's fault. Okay, I am now transferring the footage from my InstaGo to my PC. And it is going pretty slow. It's basically transferring at 20, about 20 megabits per second, megabytes, megabits, whatever per second, which is pretty, I mean, it's not so super slow but it's definitely not a high speed transfer so i was just trying to let y'all see that 
this process uh, when plugging this into my computer it was going in and out of uh, being recognized and not recognized and finally it saw the device so I don't know if there's some kind of drivers or something I need to download into it or whatever but so this is the app Insta360 Studio and this is what you manipulate the footage in before exporting it in whatever final version you want so this will be my first time using it okay one more thing um, there was about five gigabytes of information on this so I still have about three gigs left that was wrong there's just under seven gigs of usable space on this device when I was on my bike earlier it, it the device stopped working I thought it might have been out of memory but I guess the battery had died on me and being that I was riding my bike and I didn't have my backpack or anything like that I didn't have the recharging case to put it in to recharge it so I got about nine miles nine or ten miles before it died but you know I wasn't continuously recording just little snippets here and there so the battery life on this thing is not stellar but if you have the little case and uh, you, you putting it back in there sometimes between shoots like if you are going around and not doing anything you put it in there it's small it fits in your pocket or whatever you can charge it so whenever you are ready to shoot you have it with you I'm going to have to figure out the transfer for my phone so like when I don't have my computer and I'm out in the field and I might need to dump footage or whatever figure out that process and if I can get my actual um, if it get it to work uh, play well with my Samsung uh, S9 okay I'm reviewing the footage right now and this clip is playing over and over in this in the player and it this thing has something called this is the, the whole thing behind it the software and buying the thing it has something called flow state stabilization over here okay so you see how smooth it is this uh this thing is tricky let me just unplug it uh okay so now it's in flow state right so now if i take flow state off look how shaky it gets and i'll probably just put up the clip um put up the clip on full screen but i just want y'all to see in the software see uh is like rocky and now I put it on how smooth it is and then they have FPV mode which gives you more of the sway sway in there but it's still stabilized too but it's not the horizon's not rock steady it's a, it's a little more um, it's, uh, it has a little more play in it I guess you would say so this is the FPV this is the flow state, which is the which is the kicker on this. This is the uh, the secret sauce, and it, uh, it seems to be doing a really good job. So I just wanted to show that, and uh, I hope y'all get what I'm trying to demonstrate here. Okay, that's it.